They can see you. Say hi, hi girls. Hi. <laughs> Vegetables are good for you. Okay. Vegetables are good for you. Are you making fun of me? Yeah. All right. So we're waiting for somebody to show up live. We're gonna teach you. <laughs> we're gonna teach you our magical tea making ways. Yes, in fact we are. All right. I'm Rick Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, everybody. Hi, Jed. I see some of you popping in live. Okay, that's enough. Thank you. You want to stand here with me? You can pass me my veggies. So we're getting a little bit of prep done today, as I know a lot of you are, for Cleanse Week, which kicks off tomorrow. And um, I wanted to show you how to make one of my favorite uh, warm, comforting drinks in the winter, but something I love enjoying through Cleanse Week, and that is Shaga Tea. Um, Chloe and Emmy are here in the kitchen with me, being total goofballs. Uh, and so we're just doing a little veggie soak right now, and then I'm going to show you guys how to make tea. So one of my favorite things, and, and one of the things I recommend you do through Cleanse Week is to always have lots of fruits and veggies um, at quick grab, washed, chopped, ready to go. Um, one of the things you're going to notice happens this week is you become a pro in your prep. <laughs> Because, you know, so often we live our lives just day to day, meal to meal. Uh, you know, often we find ourselves stressing out over what we're going to eat, especially at dinner time, right? And one of the things that you're going to learn this week is, is how to be a pro in planning. You know, how to, how to always have this constant flow of good nutrients coming in and out of your kitchen. Um, okay, can mommy do her thing? Do you guys mind <laughs> leaving me alone for a minute? So this is live video. They can see you acting like this, and I can't change it. Whatever you do lives forever. Okay? okay Should just, we maybe behave? I'm just going to go Drive the every time the lost a party. You know what? I'm just going to stay in the video. <laughs> okay. Move over here. You guys stand on the carpet. I'm going to show them a few I'm things. I'm just going to go over here. You know what? I'm okay. Here. So one of the things I like to do on that note is I will often, in my sink, I'll put a big basin in here and I'll throw all of the produce that we're going to either yeah. snack on or I'm going to juice or chop up in salads or whatever. So I toss it all in here. Okay, I've got some cucumbers, some carrots, a couple apples. I'm seven years old. Oh, I don't know why I don't have you guys on here more often. Yeah, Hold you on. should have us. Okay, you over They'll here. They'll probably laugh at us. I don't care. You over here. Okay, so I'm just chucking in some fruit and veggies for them. Now, here's what I like to do. How many of you have On Guard foaming hand wash in your kitchen? Comes in a little foaming pump like this. Sometimes I will add a little bit of this if I have some especially dirty produce that I'm soaking and cleaning. So I'll just do a little pump like this. And then, Chloe, what oil do we add to soak fruits and veggies? Lemon! Lemon, good. So I will often use uh, about one drop for every large produce item. So I've got a couple of apples in here, about four or five carrots. So we're going to do about four drops. <laughs> oh, are we almost out of lemon? <laughs> Quite likely, because we go through like a bottle a month. Yep, we're almost out. Can you go in the basin and get me another one, please? Okay. Uh, so, and just so you guys know, one of the things I like to do is store my citrus-based essential oils in the fridge because citrus essential oils can oxidize a little bit quicker. Mind you, they will often last at least a couple years. They're just, they are, um, they're extracted differently than other essential oils. So just a little sidebar for you. I like to store my citrus essential oils in the fridge. So uh, then what I do is I just soak all this produce for, um, I usually let it sit for about 10 minutes. You got strawberry guts in your mouth. <laughs> Okay, and what you'll notice is by doing a soak like this, a lot of the, the dirt and waxes will come off um, of your fruits and veggies, okay? So I let that soak, and this is what you're going to have going on this week. You guys will have things constantly being, you know, Garbage. prepped, soaked, ready to go for your next meal. One of the things I would advise you do is when you're making your juice in the morning, let's say, uh, soak enough fruits and veggies for tomorrow's juice. Get them all ready to go so that you're not always feeling like you're waking up in the morning um, starting over, okay? You will be overwhelmed this week. I will, I will let you know right now, especially how many of you here live, I see we've got about 45 of you live. How many of you are doing this cleanse for the first time? 
We actually have one of the largest groups we've ever run uh, this round. And a lot of you are brand new. And I, my message to you is do your best. You're going to learn a lot of new things this week. You're going to get frustrated with yourself. You're going to be overwhelmed some days. And to be honest, it's part of the growth. Because the next time you come back and do this cleanse, you're going to uh, notice that you have a lot more uh, flow happening in your week. I know a lot of you who are here doing it again. Maybe it's your second, third time. Maybe you've been doing this cleanse with me for the last four years. You know that every time you do this cleanse, it gets easier, right? So Michelle says first time. Lindsay, first time. Yeah. Where do you find the lemon oil? Lemon oil? Okay, I will get it with you after, okay? Do you want to take this down with you so you can see what it looks like? <clears throat> Wait, where is the... On the shelf, downstairs. So you'll notice that uh, you'll have longer days this week, harder days sometimes, and this is what this group is for. You will love the community here, I assure you of that. You have many people joining you this week who have done this cleanse many times, and they we're all going to cheerlead you on. But, you know, number one, this is why I want to show you guys this this very quick, simple produce bath that I've got going on here. You'll want to do this once or twice a day, so you always have fresh stuff on the go. So the main point of my video today is I know a lot of you here are worried about cutting the coffee, right? How many live? How many of you live are, are thinking, hi Debbie, how many of you are thinking that uh, coffee's gonna be the struggle for you this week? Lindsay has a question, are we uh, to peel veggies for juicing or no? Okay, great question. So only use the peel if you have bought organic. This is very important. If you are using something like a lemon, okay, you can cut it into quarters and juice with the peel on. However, if it's not organic, a lot of those pesticides are gonna stay on the skin. Oh, you found it. You found it's a baby bottle. Okay, put that over That's there. That's the only one I Good. Stop. So if you're not buying organic, then you're gonna definitely wanna peel your produce. And that's a good way to actually save some money is uh, you don't always have to buy organic. You know, some of the things that are heavier in the peel, like a lemon, um, is protected if you're not eating the peel. Okay, guys, Stop it on me. remember this video lives for all time. Okay, you act like a goof. You're always gonna act like a goof on this video. Okay, over here, both of you stand right here. No, I want to show this on the video. All right. Good morning, Carly. Monday morning in Australia. You're off and running. Yes, our Aussie girls are one day in to their cleanse already, you guys. They've got a head start on you. All right. Hey, Andy. Okay, so here's what I want to show you because I know a lot of you are concerned about coffee. And uh, as you guys probably know from following me for a while, good morning, Holly. Uh, I do intermittent fasting using a bulletproof coffee every morning until one o'clock where I just have <laughs> where I just have coffee with fats in the morning. Um, so for me, this is a week of cutting coffee as well. And so one of the things that really helps me is to have something warm and comforting ready to go all the time. And this is my favorite thing to use uh, during cleanse week. I often, I, will, <laughs> I often will mix this with my coffee. So I'll do half and half in the mornings. Uh, you know, many many days throughout the week. But I don't know if you've heard of shaga before. It's actually a mushroom that grows on birch, okay? And this is a, I picked this up at the health food store. This is an organic Canadian shaga. It comes in a jar. This here will last you for a couple of months, to be honest, these chunks, because what I'm gonna teach you how to do is basically put, can you hold that up for them so they can see? You're basically putting a chunk this size, which, can you show them? I'll just show you in my hand, okay? Looks like that. So it covers about almost Chloe's whole palm of her hand, okay? You can grind it the way I'm teaching you. Uh, it does not involve grinding because I'm gonna teach you how to let it stew in a crock pot for a couple of days. But if you're wanting something more instant, you can grind this up, add hot water to it. You could put it in a tea strainer like you would loose tea leaves, and then that would be an instant cup, okay? Yes, thank you. Okay, so shaga tea um, is not, not only caffeine free, but it's very good for your immune system. So it's super high in antioxidants, okay? So a couple of things you'll, you'll maybe wanna make note of and, and why you've probably heard of shaga tea before is it's high in something called beta deglucans, which really helps to stimulate a strong immune system in the body. Um, it's very soothing to the gastro system. So if you have any kind of issues coming up this week, some of you will experience Good some bloating, job. some of you will 
maybe be a little bit constipated as your body is starting to release and have some die off. This uh, this will help. It's it's just a nice smooth tea. It actually tastes a little bit like the smell of a campfire. It is. I love it. I I just love to sit and I'll just take in the aroma my in my fans. cup. <laughs> you like your fans on here? Yeah, I love my fans. Yeah, they love you. Um, Thank you. Cool. Marcelina heard of it through the Ritual Podcast. Boom, boom. Love Rich. Boom 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 boom. <clears throat> yes, Four Stigmatic brand is a great brand. Um, Alex, maybe you can confirm for me. I'm not sure, but I think all I'm familiar with is the ground versions that they sell of the mushrooms, and they have stevia and stuff in them, and not everyone loves that, but uh, what I'm teaching today is just with the actual, just plain old shaga tea chunks. So the other thing that is really cool about shaga tea is the betalinic acid, so it helps to break down the LDL cholesterol. There is some research that shows that um, an LDL is the low-density Okay, and that's not the good form that we are looking for. We want to have the HDL. So um, anyway, the main the main point, the main reason you'll want to use this is it's it's a little more fun than having um, than having uh, just a tea, an herbal tea. It actually has the Bye. same kind of soothing properties as coffee. Okay, you'll find that that's often what your body's actually craving is the ritual. All right, here's a thing you're going to notice this week. When you eliminate the distractions of food, the costly energy that our body applies to digesting foods that are not so great for us, you will have so much energy and you will release things um, that you haven't been able to because your body's been focused so much on your nutrition or lack of, right? So you'll find yourself being more um, apt to deal with tougher relationships, having conversations with people that maybe you've been putting them off. Maybe that, that energy that you have, you're going to be able to go tackle that closet and, and organize things in your home that you've been putting off. You're going to have a ton of energy by about day three this week, and you're going to feel incredible. And there's going to be a lot of habits that you're going to want to keep going into the next couple of months, okay? So let me show you real quick how you make this, and I'll answer any questions you guys have. So I went out to... Um, I'll just show you the size here. I went out to um, the superstore, okay? This is my Shaga crock pot. It's a mini. You can see it's got a little bit of that Dirt. <laughs> stain going on from all the shogging I do. Uh, and all here's all I do, you guys. This is um, this probably holds about four liters of water. And, oh, you're so welcome. So what I do is I grab the, that hunk that Chloe showed you, so a chunk that fits in the palm of your hand. It does not taste at all like mushrooms, not at all. It, it, it tastes like the smell of a campfire, it's amazing. So yes, go ahead. So you would put that in to your crock pot. Now I like to boil water and I will pour about four liters of boiling water onto the chunk and then I turn my crock pot on low and I let it sit for three days. Here's what you get to do though, because this chunk will keep giving off life force into this brew. You can, as you take hot water out I will just keep a little ladle next to my crock pot and I'll, as I take you know a cup or so out and pour myself a little shaga tea I will add that same amount of hot water back into the crock pot you basically know that it's done uh, you basically know that it's done once uh, the, the water is starting to lose its color it'll be a really rich chocolate brown color and once it starts to look more transparent, it's starting to lose its uh, effect, okay? So then you could just replace it. Um, I actually learned this technique from David Wolf. How many of you know who David Wolf is? He's close with a friend of mine, Jill Mandich, and uh, he does this all the time in his home, and she first came across it when she was visiting him. And so she taught me uh, a couple years ago, and I've been doing it quite a bit since. So anyway, I wanted to mention that because this week is all about replacing, substituting habits you're looking this to week. release. Yeah, this, this week. week, that's this right. Week. You wanna release certain Just habits. For some of you, if you feel like coffee has a grip on you, and maybe it's the unhealthy things that, that happen when you drink coffee, maybe it's adding cream and sugar to your coffee, maybe it's having a muffin every day at three o'clock, I don't know, but it's about replacing some of these habits that have a grip on you so that you become free. Yes, free. Hey. You. 
So anyway, uh, that's what I wanted to show you guys today. I'm probably going to be hopping on a couple times this week. In addition to the daily post, you're going to find in this group every day at 8 o'clock in the morning, there's going to be a post where I'd like to encourage you guys to post your pictures and enter our daily draw. Uh, I'm going to do my best to stay on top of questions as they come up. But uh, we have a really large group this round, you guys. So I appreciate all of you who have been doing this cleanse uh, over the last couple of years. And you are not amateurs anymore. Thank you. Thank you for supporting the group and cheerleading everyone on who's doing it for the first time. Any questions from the live group before me and uh, Chloe? Here? What's going on? My name's Chloe, We're not doing a live her. Q&A. Oh. My name's Chloe, not her. Duh, okay, duh. Alex asked, I try to fast once a week. Would you recommend me keeping the one day fast? No, I would not, only because you've got a whole week to do this. And some yes, people feel do. some people feel um, that they're depleted for the first couple days. So what I would say, Alex, is stick to the plan until about Wednesday. If you're feeling that near the end of the week that you could do a one day fast just for extra deep clarity, then go for it. Most people who do this for the first time don't feel like they could go without um, nutrition for a whole day. Yes, Kristen, the goal is to cut all sweeteners this week. So stevia or xylitol, while they would be the healthier choices, um, I'm recommending you try to cut all of them and just use sugars that are attached to fiber. Okay, so fruits and veggies, when you're snacking, adding them in that way. Chloe. I want to stay in here. Thanks, Leal. I'm inspired by you guys. You guys are an awesome group. This is going to be an incredible week. Amy asked, how long do you let the shaga sit on your counter? Just leave it there. I just leave it on um, warm, okay? Keep warm. So you don't have to keep cooking it. Once you have it, once it has steeped in your hot water for a couple of hours, it's good to go. You just keep it on warm. Now you'll notice some of it will evaporate out, but again, you can keep adding hot water to it until the water starts to run more clear. This will taste the best after it has sat overnight. Um, so like tomorrow morning, if you guys wanted to start this up tonight, tomorrow morning, you could come down and have a nice warm cup of shaga while you're preparing all of the <gasps> materials for your juice. It is so tasty. Is it? Yes, it is. You are, you are <laughs> my daughter. <laughs> I am your daughter. Hi, Sherry. Yeah, this. Actually, I purchased this at the health food store at Masonville Mall here in London. So a lot of Ville health food Mall. stores will carry this. Masonville Mall. Lindsay, Lindsay, you could have this a couple times a day. It really depends. If you, some of you love the detox tea that I have in the ebook with the turmeric and the um, ginger and the lemon, but uh, it really depends on what you're in the mood for. I would say this would be good to have when you would typically be having coffee. That's the same thing. No, you don't add any sweetener. You absolutely could add some coconut oil to this and blend it up. One of the things that I recommend in the afternoon to help you get rid of a little, little bit of that edge, some of you will be having a bit of a headache uh, in the afternoon, so that coconut milk turmeric latte is great, but you could also blend some coconut oil into your shaga tea. Fresh. I'm your daughter, all right. <laughs> See the hearts? I think they Because like they you. love me. Tamsin, I don't add any milk to this, but you could. Thank you. You could add some of your homemade almond milk or any kind of nut milk that you're making. Yes, Lisa, we love coconut oil. So, you know, if you find at nighttime you're, you're having kind of the, the snackies hit you, you feel like you are still hungry, um, having something with some fats in it would be really helpful. So making a turmeric latte at night or blending this with some coconut oil would be brilliant at night. And fats are gonna help your body release some of the, um, the toxins in your poop. They're gonna help you, they're gonna help you keep nice and clean, okay? So increasing your fats by an extra, like if you are normally not having any coconut oil, you could go up to about two teaspoons per day. Yeah, nighttime is the hardest for people. That's when the snacking really hits. So again, you want to you want to focus. I'm on not actually picking my booger, okay? Seriously, I'm not. <laughs> okay, I'm not actually. Oh, really? I'm just trying to get my fans here. Cinnamon essential oil would be brilliant. I love adding cinnamon essential oil to my. I typically add that to my coffee and coconut oil that I blend up in the mornings. It helps with blood sugar. Helps add a little bit of flavor. Emmy, come on. Can you go get your sister? She shouldn't be out there, honey. Thank you. 
You guys get it. No, I don't want her outside. <laughs> That's your fans. Yeah, I know, Marcelina. It's like it's like our reward time, right? The kids go to bed. So here's the deal. Set a new ritual for yourself. So this week, go pour, you know, run the bath water. Choose some beautiful essential oils and your Epsom salts. Put a mask on. Read a book. Drink lots of water. Often when we're thinking we're hungry, we're actually thirsty. So I want you to try drinking a good, like, 500 ml of water before you start to reach for something in the cupboard. That's right. The That's right, too. Do you know that 48 people are watching you right now? I don't care. In their homes. I just care about my fans. <laughs> I don't even know these people. Your fans? All right. I think it's time to go over here. Uh, so anyway, good luck today, you guys, with your prep. It's all about the prep. You're going to learn that you can do anything for a week this week. And, you, and if you have a day where it doesn't go to plan, that is okay. Just, you know, don't write it completely off. Get up the next day. And, uh, <laughs> right, Amanda? I know. Right, Amanda? And just start fresh the next day, you guys. This is a journey. You're going to learn lots of great things this week about yourself. For the cleanse, any recommendations for juicers? Yeah, the juicer that I have is called a Hurum, H-U-R-O-M. It's one of my favorites because it presses. It doesn't um, mechanically grind the fruits and veggies. Oh, my word. <laughs> what? <laughs> this house is hilarious right now. This is my show. Do you have school tomorrow? Okay. <laughs> Hi, I am your fan. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Get away from my video. Go. Yeah, Amanda, I've never read anything that was uh, contraindicative to pregnancy, to be honest. Um, this is high in antioxidants. It does not have caffeine in it. So with anything you're trying brand new because you are pregnant, I, I would only do a cup a day, to be honest. Um, just because it's something your body hasn't had before. <laughs> Can you please get her? She's outside. Okay, I gotta wrap up here. I will see you guys in the group. Bye. I'll probably pop in Bye. once or twice more to do a Facebook Live this week. <laughs> He's hilarious. He's so bad. Don't worry about him. All right. Go away. Say bye. Bye. Hey, don't shut the video off. I want to say gotta last. Go. One last thing. One last thing. You have uh, you have beans to cook. One last thing. Bye, fans. <laughs> go, go, right. go, go. I'll be more professional this week, I promise. See you guys.